we're entering into a place that's larger than your problem. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I believe in saying God's word. People ask you, what do you believe? That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. That's my faith. Mm -hmm. Bible calls it the spirit of faith. Well, some people criticize me for putting too much emphasis on speaking God's word. To which I say, how can you criticize me for saying what God has already said? Now, number one, these people don't know what they're talking about. Speaking God's word is how you walk with God in the earth today. And number two, these people have never spoken God's word enough, say enough, enough. to enter into that which was said. If they've done that, they wouldn't be criticizing me they'd be in agreement with me that's right there is a thing in that word spoken a place that supersedes your present situation a place in that spoken word that supersedes say supersedes, supersedes. your present situation it's larger than that a place you can go to a thing that you can enter into and you enter into it by those things being spoken and the results are guaranteed God is no respecter of persons he respects his word and it will work for everyone who will everyone who will what speak. speak his word psalms chapter 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy words gives light when that word comes in you begin to see how it can happen you begin to see how it works for you but my point here predominantly is there is an entrance does it say that mm -hmm. the entrance of thy words there's an entrance in the Word of God how do you suppose you enter into it well there must be something inside if there's an entrance right oh I'm gonna enter into this thing and there's nothing in there why would you enter into it then no what do you suppose is in that word the thing it said so we're gonna enter into it there's an entrance are you here yes. there's an entrance in the Word of God and you enter in by saying it say I enter in, I enter in. By, saying by saying it and what did you enter into that word said mm -hmm. so there's an entrance into what the thing said you enter into it well this is how we walk with God I hope you know that we're entering into his things said he said things now we say things and then we enter into them we're in agreement with him and that's how we walk with God in the earth you put too much emphasis on speaking God's Word oh so I put too much emphasis on walking with God in the earth today is that what you're telling me yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking Psalms 116 and verse 9 I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living where's the land of the living and be on earth you're alive right mm -hmm. sometimes you wonder 
you look out over the crowd of people you wonder if they're alive <laughs> i will walk before the lord or with the lord in the land of the living verse 10 i believed therefore have i spoken if you believe you speak if you don't believe you don't speak mm -hmm. so those who criticize me for putting too much emphasis on speaking the word of god simply don't believe mm -hmm. but i believe and therefore i speak so how do we actually walk with the lord in the land of the living speaking and believing believing and speaking and what are you believing what you're speaking mm -hmm. which is the word mm -hmm. are you here what if you're not speaking w what could you be believing mm. I don't know <laughs> what are you believing I believe in speaking God's Word mm -hmm. Psalms 118 verse 4 let them now that fear the Lord be silent is that what it says yeah. it says now let them that fear the Lord say yeah. so if you're gonna fear the Lord which is a good thing we are going to say so we have to say things say we have to say things, have to say things. if you fear the Lord you will say something and here it says that his mercy endures forever verse 5 I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me in a large place now we'll come back to that in a little bit but my main point here was that they that fear the Lord say Malachi chapter 3 verse 16 says then they that feared the Lord spake they that feared the Lord spake often one to another and the Lord hearkened and heard it and the book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and thought upon his name what does it say they that fear the Lord do speak often speaking is fearing the Lord the Bible seems to be putting a big emphasis on speaking God's Word if you fear the Lord right. you're gonna speak Amen. early we read if you believe you're gonna speak what's with the speaking seems to be emphasized they that feared the Lord what spake often in fact the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning the fear of the Lord is the beginning mm -hmm. they that fear the Lord speak speaking is the beginning yes. are we getting this what if you don't speak you haven't begun yet yeah. if you don't learn how to speak God's Word you haven't begun yet have you found this to be true I found it to be true Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom Amen. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 13 says happy is the man that finds wisdom angry is the man that criticizes me because <laughs> I put too much of an emphasis on speaking God's Word here it says happy is the man that finds wisdom well what is wisdom the fear of the Lord is the beginning of this wisdom mm -hmm. and the fear of the Lord is speaking mm -hmm. speaking and worshiping God I worship you Holy Ghost speaking in agreement with his word that is the fear of the Lord and it is the beginning how do we get here the fear of the Lord speaking in agreement with his word so happy is the man that finds wisdom you find wisdom by the fear of the Lord that's the beginning of wisdom 
are you here am i going too fast mm -hmm. the point is wisdom lives here say wisdom, wisdom lives here in speaking in agreement with god's word a house that wisdom built a house that wisdom lives in go here move in psalms 118 verse 5 i called upon the lord how do you call upon the lord saying. by saying the lord answered me and set me in a large place say a large place, a large place. does that differ from a small constrained place yes. it's a wide open place with plenty of space this space that God opens up to you is bigger than the space you're in right now it's bigger on the inside it's a place of largesse a place of wisdom larger than your problem are you here yes. and you're gonna enter into we're entering into a place that's larger than your problem can you put these dots together yeah how are we gonna enter into that place where do we enter in how do we enter the entrance of thy words we're entering into a place that's larger than your problem and wisdom lives in there I should have brought my chart an economy that's larger than the one you live in a political environment that's so much better than what you currently see all these things are in there in that large place that he brings you into via the fear of the Lord these words spoken are your entrance your entrance into a large place you want to go there and this is where the rubber meets the road and it's where a lot of people refuse to go but this will work for you say this will work for me this will work for me you got to get here mm. believing and speaking speaking and believing actively saying God's word is you entering in get it straight say actively, actively. Saying, saying God's word, God's word is, me is me entering in entering, in. entering into what the large place mm -hmm. I'm entering into the large place <laughs> makes me happy but you enter here through the fear of the Lord use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word specifically his promises is the fear of the Lord it's how you enter in it's how we walk with God in the earth today these words please him they're his words and they are his will for you and it's how you enter in am I getting this across mm -hmm. well I want to do it some other way well have fun with that <laughs> we'll see you in another 20 years mm -hmm. in the same place you are today or listen or you can take God's Word put it in your mouth and enter into a completely different place a large place one you are destined to live in and it's bigger on the inside can you see that it's bigger on the inside yes looking at the outside that's your small space that's your small place but on the inside it's much bigger so these words spoken are your entrance these words spoken are my entrance into largesse my entrance into a large place my entrance into healing health and youth renewal my entrance into prosperity whatever it is those things said that's what i enter into 
and I'm telling you it's bigger in there on the inside than it is on the outside are you here yes. and you don't need hundreds of verses I know people they get all caught up in it they try to confess every verse you don't need every verse you need one you don't need many a few targeted ones will do how many healing verses are there lots of healing verses how many prosperity verses are there lots of prosperity verses what would be in one healing verse mm. healing mm -hmm. right yeah. you didn't need the hundred of them you only needed the one how many times did you need to be healed so you don't need many verses a few targeted ones will do <laughs> once you've proven this you'll know you'll be in agreement with me your house doesn't need more than a few doors to get into does it can you imagine a house that every wall has 10 doors on it the whole house is just doors trying to get in trying to get out you know you don't need that many doors you just need one or maybe two to get into the house where it's bigger on the inside and then when you enter in through there one of those doors you are in a large space a large place when you confess a scripture and you enter in through it you begin to realize it's unlimited it's bigger on the inside proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it i say oh well that's a very fine promise there mm -hmm. i would like that promise my outside circumstances don't look to be as grand as that i think i will enter into it mm -hmm. how am i going to enter into the entrance of his word i enter it by saying it say I enter, it I enter it by saying it by saying. am I making this too simple I swear you have to make it so simple that people don't miss it mm. so I'm going to enter into this verse of Scripture and I'm telling you on the other side of that verse of Scripture is wide open space unending unlimited I will say the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it nothing happened I will say it again the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it as I continue to say it say continue to say continue to say as I continue to say it the Bible talks about as a man thinks in his heart so is he you enter into that verse of Scripture it enters into you but you go through the entrance of it into a large place where you become the blessed of the Lord one who is made rich no sorrow added and it's hard to describe to people but once you've entered in you know you believe it you say it you enter into it all scriptures will do this all the promises of God second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 are yes and amen every one of the promises will do this listen to me every single one of the promises will do this exact thing you enter in through it and it's large on the other side largesse awaits you in your physical body largesse awaits you in your youth renewal largesse awaits you in your finances and your prosperity I'd, I'd say it's a hundred times bigger on the inside but that's that's sad compared to what it really is it's unlimited you put too much emphasis on saying God's Word too late for me too late for me I'm living in an enlarged place and I'll never go back 
once you learn how to confess and say God's word until it changes you till you see on the other side the large space I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me in a large place a large space yes. Psalms 107 verse 20 says he sent his magic power and healed them oh no he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions if he sent his word how would he send his word he would say it he spoke his word if he sent his word and it healed them and delivered them there had to be healing and delivering in that word Amen. how much enough to heal them all yeah. enough to deliver them all is that not enough for you yeah, yeah it's way more than enough for you he sent his word and healed them and delivered them largess of health largess of youth renewal largess of deliverance is on the other side of that spoken word for you but you have to say it i can't say it for you i do say it for you but you have to say it i wanted a different message this is the one you needed to hear you need to know how to put god's word in your mouth and speak it and enter in say enter in, enter in. to a large place, a large place. that's in that word for you mm -hmm. once you do that you'll never be the same you'll never go back you won't have that frown on your face anymore you'll have a silly grin psalms 118 verse 5 i called upon the lord how do you call upon the lord you speak right i called upon the lord in distress the lord answered me and set my neighbor in a large place is that what it said you called he answered you and set you in the large place say i called, I called. he answered me, he answered me. And, set me and set me in the large place, the large place. you're the one who opens up your mouth and says his word you're the one he hears and you're the one he sets in a large place a place that's larger than the situation circumstance you're in a place that's larger than your financial constraints a place that's larger than your physical issues a place that's as large as the Holy Ghost is and he will cause you to know this place and live there with him and so shall you be known as one of the few people on earth that know God and walk with him in the earth and manifest the kingdom of God in ways that have only been talked about in the past we thank you Holy Ghost for it that this is happening for us now in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you I speak your words out my mouth those things begin to come to pass in my life I enter in to a large place in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven